Welcome back everyone. Something I really wanted to see was what are the biggest differences in terms of visual differences between the 60Hz, 90Hz, and 120Hz displays that we have out now. But, and I've seen a couple of these and they do a really good job at demonstrating the differences and, and I also wanted to show you guys the differences too because there are some big noticeable differences and there's pros and cons for everything. Now this is basically the triple phone layout that I had. So I had the S10 Plus, the OnePlus 7 Pro in the middle, and the S20. Now the S10 Plus, the very left one, has that 60 hertz refresh rate. The middle phone has that 90 hertz refresh rate, and the far right phone, the S20, has a 120 hertz refresh rate enabled. Now to show you the biggest differences, I went ahead and just kind of simply loaded some really basic stuff at a very slow frame rate. And what I can tell you is, is that at the very left, you can see the S10 Plus, you know, it doesn't look bad, but it does look pretty slow and I don't want you guys to focus on it the you know speed of it and like how great and how fast the phones are because I do a comparison at the end but I just want you to notice kind of the you know stutteriness that we have on the S10 plus even videos and different things like that within even this one certain app it is pretty interesting and even when you close out of it you can see that there is a little bit of a delay not necessarily a delay but you can tell that there are some pretty big differences when it comes down to it when it comes down to the frame rate and you wouldn't see this unless you slowed it down but when you go and actually go and use these day by day there are some pretty big differences in my opinion now what i had to did afterwards was I went onto the OnePlus 7 Pro and basically did the exact same thing and you can kind of see the exact same thing kind of going on but it does look much smoother and just much faster and more responsive which is pretty crazy because we're not even at 120 hertz there's already a pretty big smoothness addition I guess the best way to put it already when you're going to the OnePlus 7 Pro which is crazy because that's at 90 hertz we're not even at the top tier 120 hertz and you can already see some pretty big differences in my opinion which is a really really interesting thing to note now scrolling through everything looks smoother videos aren't going to play faster games aren't going to load faster or anything like that but it gives the impression that it is smoother which is really impressive now I did the exact same thing with the Galaxy S20 on the right and you can see that exactly we're getting a much smoother frame rate speed going from the OnePlus 7 Pro but as I've said before going from a 60 Hertz display to a 90 Hertz display in my opinion is a better jump than going from 90 Hertz to 120 Hertz 120 Hertz is still top tier it's still the best but I think there's more of a jump going from 60 to 90 than going from 90 to 120 in my opinion now kind of going on you can even see closing out of things it does look smoother on the 120 Hertz display which is really really impressive now at the end of it I do do a little bit of a comparison which is still really really impressive because I wasn't expecting to see this big of a visual difference and what I saw was that pretty much it was what I was already expecting but not at this scale of how much smoother a phone like the 120 Hertz has over the 60 Hertz and I even kind of closed out of apps and I did some other things too and even scrolling through and everything and opening the apps like I said I don't want you to see you know which one is faster because obviously the S20 is probably going to be faster but look at just how much smoother the opening speeds were on the S20 over the other phones that have 90 and 60 Hertz and even scrolling through you can see I want you to really pinpoint on how much smoother the 120 hertz is over the 90 and 60 hertz because even here we're seeing some pretty big differences whenever i scroll through i saw some pretty i just see how much stuttery and how much more buggier the 60 hertz display looks over the 90 and 120 hertz now i don't want to sit here and say you know the 120 hertz display is the far better one every single time that's not necessarily always the case but you do see some pretty big differences when going through now there are some advantages for sticking with 60 hertz you know you get better battery life overall but still I think 120 Hertz I mean when you look at it like this it does look so much smoother and if I slowed it down even more you would be able to see even more how much more stutterier the 60 Hertz display looks over the 90 and 120 Hertz display as well so this is just a quick little visual like I said I didn't want this to be like a 50,000 minute video but it's really interesting to see the technology advancements and if these newer iPhones and newer Androids all across the board which would bring a new refresh rate kind of baseline. So instead of the 60 hertz being the baseline, maybe 90 hertz could be the baseline, and then maybe we can get like 160 hertz or 3000 hertz display. <laughs> totally joking, maybe one day, but that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.